This is the clapper, one of the iconic American inventions from back in the 1980s. This is the newest version. If you clap twice, this outlet will come on. If you clap three times, it, this one will turn on. And when you clap again three times, it will go off. This one will go off after two claps. If now, this one start, started to act randomly. It would not turn on at three claps or turn on at two claps only or the other way around. It was inconsistent. Some things would work, some things wouldn't. So I'm going to open it up and see what's inside. This is the simple way to open it up. You need two flathead screwdrivers, one small and pointy, one at the other one a little larger, a little wider. And the way to do it is wedge the pointy little driver right here. And as you wedge it, you need to uh, drive it under the plastic until it stays in about three millimeters or uh, one sixteenth of an inch uh, under the plastic. As you have it wedged in like this, uh, you take the bigger the flathead screwdriver and place it against the edges here and try to wiggle and open it up and do the same on the other side. I'm going to replace the two capacitors, the electrolytics. The one is 470, the big one, uh, and 35 volts, and this one is 100 microfarads and uh, 16 volts. And the replacements I have are these two. Uh, one is Panasonic, 100 micro, 25 volts, that one is a Rubicon, 470, I couldn't find 35, so I'm going to use 25. And I guess this is the voltage for the 24 volts relay, so this will be on the border of uh, acceptable. However, I think it will be better than the old ones, because I assume that one of them is acting up, and this is why the clapper doesn't work consistently. I gave it a quick test, and it seems to work fine. Both the two claps and three claps, both outlets work. Uh, the relays click, and now all I have to do is uh, not to forget this little switch uh, extension, and then click everything back into place, and this is it. So if you have problem with random switching uh, and not being able to turn one outlet or the other, one of the problems may be bad electrolytic capacitors inside, so you may consider taking it apart and uh, replacing the capacitors. Give it a thumbs up if you like it.